What's up guys, my name is Devin Nguyen, welcome to 11% Tutorials. Today I'll be teaching you guys how you can recreate this crazy looking ghost glow trail effect. It's a popular effect used a lot in music videos. This one in particular is inspired by Jekyll and Kyle's Dro Kenshi's They Don't Know music video. It's just a really cool effect used throughout the video. For this effect, we'll just be using After Effects, no plugins at all required. But if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe. It's free, all this content is free, so it would really mean a lot if you guys could. Also, if you guys create something cool from this tutorial, make sure to add us on Instagram at 11% Pro. I'd love to see what you guys create. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so now that we are finally in After Effects, you're of course gonna to wanna to have your footage loaded in right here. So the first things that we're gonna do right here is we are going to rotoscope this effect. Now, while I've done this effect before in our channel, we're gonna take just a slightly alternative approach to this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit Command D, and then we are going to double click on the top layer right here. And then we're gonna come over here to this Roto Crush icon. For those of you who know how to rotoscope, you can go ahead and just rotoscope scope your subject but for those of you who don't you just select your subject with this green brush tool until everything is selected that you want to have in the frame and we are simply just going to drag along Now, once everything is rotoscoped and you have all your information, we're gonna hit this freeze icon right here just to make sure that we don't lose any information in the future. So we're gonna go ahead and speed this up. So now that everything is finally frozen and locked in place, we're gonna come back here to our main composition. And if we turn off our bottom layer, you can see that everything is nice and rotoscoped out. So what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna turn the feather of this rotoscope up just a tad bit. I'm gonna do about like 10 right here. And then we are going to shift the edge a tad bit inward, so negative 10 right here. And this way we're just gonna have a smoother rotoscope and you know, cut out figure. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the bottom layer back on and now it comes here for our effects. We're gonna come over here to our effects and presets and we are going to type in echo. And now this is pretty much the main basis of the effect. We're gonna apply this to our rotoscope layer right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit command D once again, and then we're just gonna delete this echo effect from the top layer. So that way we basically only have the echo applied to the bottom layer. So we can turn off this visibility on the top layer right now so we can see the echo. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of echo and non-visibility echoes going on here. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to come over here here to the second bottom layer with the echo applied we're going to increase the number of echoes to about 10 and then what we're going to do is we are going to turn the decay to about 0.6 honestly works and then what we're going to do is we're going to come to the echo operator and we're going to change this to screen just for how this footage looks i'm going to change i'm going to actually change this decay back up to about 0.8 for say and like i said just mess around with it until you know you get something that fits your footage everybody's footage is a little bit different maybe i might even go 0.9 so now you can see we have a lot more like old previous frames still in shot right here then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this top layer back on now you can see we have a nice echo trail going on right here i'm going to come over here to our effects and presets we're going to type in glow and we're going to take this glow drag it to our echo layer of course and now you can see it just made everything crazy and we're going to increase this radius all the way up to about 70 and then you can go ahead and mess around with the intensity for how much you want the scene to be going or not and voila now you can see we have a nice echo effect going on here with our subject now like i said mess around with the settings you know just make it cool make it your own make it unique i'm going to come back over here just to these echo settings and just mess around i might change this to maximum let's see how that looks and there you can see we got a more toned down cooler looking effect you can also come over here to the second layer and mess around with the opacity just so we can you you know see through it a tad bit i might change this to about 75. now you can see we have a less strong ghost effect echo effect one last thing that i might add is a saturation just to match the effect level of the they don't know music video we're going to come over here apply saturation and then we are going to just turn this master saturation all the way down we're going to come over here and click colorize so we just have one main level effect i'm going to change this opacity back up to 100 and then i'm just going to mess around with the glow intensity once again and voila there we pretty much have a nice echo effect that you can use for your projects and videos here is the final effect If you 
guys made it to the end of the video. Thank you again so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on for updates on future tutorials like this. I hope at the end of this, you'll be able to walk away with an effect that you can use and apply for your future music videos and projects alike. If you guys had any questions, comments, or concerns throughout the video, please make sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.